Solar energy is a renewable energy source, so it will not run out in the near future. The amount of solar energy that reaches the Earth's surface in an hour would be enough to meet humanity's energy needs for an entire year. It is also possible to use solar energy in households. Solar thermal collectors form a pipe system with a large surface and with a pump that circulates water mixed with antifreeze. Antifreeze is necessary because the solar thermal collectors are situated outdoors, so their temperature may fall below zero degrees Celsius in winter. Antifreeze is not necessary in the indoor water loop, so it is important to have a separate closed water loop to be heated by the sun. Solar thermal collectors are usually black, so they absorb heat more efficiently and do not reflect it. The pipe system is placed behind a transparent glass surface, allowing light to pass but preventing the hot water from cooling quickly. A non-transparent insulating material is placed under the pipe system. Water heated by the sun heats up a hot water tank through a heat exchanger. The heat exchanger is a pipe system with a large surface area. A pump provides hot water from the tank to the radiators or the underfloor heating system in the house. A secondary heating system is usually added to solar water heating systems, as solar thermal collectors do not provide energy when there is not enough sunlight for a long time. This auxiliary heating system can be an electric heater built directly into the hot water tank or a gas boiler connected in series to the solar heating system. Photovoltaic solar panels produce electricity from sunlight. In order for devices in our homes to use the low voltage direct current from the solar panels, we need an inverter to transform it into alternating current with the right voltage and frequency. Photovoltaic solar panels are a widely used source of energy, but one disadvantage is that they only provide electricity when the sun is shining. This problem can be solved in two ways. In standalone systems, the electrical energy that has been generated but remains unused is stored in batteries, which then provide electricity when the sun is not shining. The other solution involves a grid-tied system that feeds the generated electricity back into the electrical grid. We only need to pay for the difference between the energy produced and the energy used. The standalone system is more expensive, but it is worth using in locations where there is no electrical grid. Three prices, hybrid systems, which combine the benefits of both systems, will become more widespread.